this is Stumpy, and welcome back to my Let's Play on The Last Guardian. As you can see, I am now inside of the, the giant tower. Basically, the, the tower that I spent the entire game looking at from the, the outside. I made my way onto the, the inside. We've faced a few obstacles. Well, quite a lot of obstacles, as you can see by the... Uh, the mess we've made on the, the floor down here. <laughs> Plenty of obstacles. And then I shone a light and then this thing came down from the ceiling and oh, it looks like, it looks almost like a throne or something. And I'm just kind of trapped inside of it. Okay, that's what I thought was going to happen. I thought that Trico was going to go on the top and then I was going to go on the, the inside like this. And don't, don't get your tail trap. Don't get your trail trap, Trico. <laughs> that was, that was a little bit close there. Right, well, it looks like we're um going the, the rest of the way up the, the tower in in this thing. I wonder if this was the thing that I saw poking out the top. You remember in a recent episode, I kind of looked at the top of the tower and there was a a, a thing, a whatchamacallit, at the top? I wonder if that was was this thing, but we seem to be going up very, very quickly. We went up the, the other elevator and it took us up a little bit, quite slowly, and this one seems to be taking us up very, very high. I just hope Trico's okay at the top. I hope there's no low ceilings at the, the, the top, but here we go. Looks like we've arrived and... There's a lot of destroyed things on the ground. That's kind of better than uh, us having to destroy them all again, I suppose. But but what is this giant thing here? Right, let's be careful because if there's all of this all of this debris around here, it means there at least was some uh, some guards around here at some point, and it means that more uh, could be uh, arriving at some point in the the future. And there's oh, there's some some food down here as well. I guess I can uh, give this a trigger. Oh no, wait, these aren't these aren't the um the the soldiers. This is uh, all barrels. No, these are all barrels all over the place here. Okay, looks like looks like someone's been having a, a feast around here. All right, Trico, you're gonna catch it in your mouth. Three, two, one. No, I love it when he does that. <laughs> Very impressive. Right. Well, I mean, we're here. I think we're near the top of the tower. There's a big. Whatever that is. I don't know if it's like a fan out of the, the top as well. And that's the thing I saw. That thing up there, that is the, the thing I saw from above. So, I mean, it looks like there's nothing down here for me to do. I wonder if there's anywhere around here that Trico is going to be able to, to jump up by himself. So let's just go and climb on his back. Sometimes he just goes and uh, jumps up where he needs to, to go anyway. Fingers crossed that's what's going to, to happen this time. Uh, but yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not entirely sure. And I keep hearing that, that little noise in the background this entire time. It's like a little, like... It sounds like just someone going like, meh, meh, meh. just like in the background the entire time, just like as I'm playing. <laughs> and look at those markings. That looks like a bit like a duck, doesn't it? You see like the, to the right there? Kind of looks like a little, someone's drawn a little duck on the side. I'm not sure that that's what it's supposed to be, but that's what it kind of looks like a little bit. And a Trico is definitely looking up here. Are you going to jump up by yourself? Oh, okay. He's kind of, he's kind of lifted himself up a little bit. Is there anywhere I'm supposed to be able to jump to from here? No, I wonder. I wonder if I shine my um my my light somewhere. I wonder if we shoot lightning somewhere. If that's gonna do anything. Well, let's let's see if he can just jump up anyway. Let's see if there is anywhere around here. Like maybe if he jumps, look. If he jumps up onto that one, look. If you go to that one over, no, not not I'm not pointing the way. I'm actually pushing. If you go over to the left there, Trico, and jump up, you should be able to jump up on that one, and then you can maybe get to that one. Yeah. Look, if you go over, go go, go over the way. Like the cameras. There we go. Go over that way, Trico, and then jump. If he gets onto that, then he should be able to get onto to that one. And we might be able to, to make our ways on top of on top of this thing and get up to, to there. The problem is when we do get to the top, there is a, a giant spinning fan that we're going to, to have to, to deal with when we get up there. So it's not going to be the, the easiest thing even when we do arrive. But, you know, we might as well keep heading up. You know, we haven't got this close to, to give up now. And there we go. Now I'm kind of pointing where I want to go. So that way and jump. He seems to be really determined to to jump up here, but there's not, like he's not gonna be able to jump the entire way up to, to that one unless he really does fly. It looks like he does need to to jump up on that one. So let me just, let me just have one quick go, just shining the, the lightning on that big thing in the middle, just in case it does do something. I'm suspecting that it doesn't do anything, but let's just, just give it a go. Seeing as we're here and Trico's not doing what I want him to, to do anyway, let's just give it a go anyway. And uh, let's just see whether anything does happen. So if I get to, to where I'm standing on his back, I can get the, the mirror out. And let's just shine it onto to this thing, just to see if it does do anything at all. Because if something drops down or opens up or something, uh, then that will make things a whole lot easier for us going forward. But as expected, I guess, <laughs> absolutely nothing happened. So uh, what I'm going to do now then is I'm going to tell uh, Trico. Oh, is he going to do something? He's really, 
He's really looking up. There's nothing there, Trico. Look, you need you need to jump to that one over there first. Let me just stay pointing this way nonstop. You can see, look, he's just constantly distracted. He keeps trying to look where he wants to look and ignoring where I'm telling him to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut ahead in there the video until he's actually kind of jumped up where I wanted him to, to go. And uh, hopefully uh, we can keep making our way on top of whatever this thing is. Okay, so after about... I don't know, probably about five minutes of trying to wrestle with him to, to jump up. He finally jumped up. I just, I don't know, did the usual thing of just continually pointing to it until he eventually does it. But he did jump up almost immediately after I finished recording. I jumped off him to go and call him over to it. And then the second I jumped off him, he then jumped up. And then I had to bring him back down. And then now <laughs> he seems to be finally climbing his way up to the, the top. So it looks like that's just outside. That I don't, It's kind of hard to tell. Is that... I mean, that's sunlight there, isn't it? It looks like we are literally right at the top of the tower. And I've been really looking forward to, to getting up here. So I just want to see the view. Because there's been so many incredible views, like the, like any time we get high up. I really just want to see what the view's going to be like out here. But the problem is, is we need to get up out there. And um, I don't care for Trico, careful. <laughs> your, hit, your wings are only just about getting better. Your horns have only just about regrown. Now's not going to be the time to be going into a giant spinning fan. I'm just really scared he's just going to go and drop the uh, the entire way back down again. Right, so it looks like I can jump off onto to that bit there. But I can't see where else I'm supposed to go. I, I don't even want to jump, to be honest, because that thing is whizzing right past my head. The only thing I can think to do is to, to shoot lightning at it. Like, that's kind of like the only other thing I can do, to be honest. So let's kind of, like, shoot lightning right into the middle of this fan. Like, it does seem to be, like, a magic fan. It seems to be powered by magic. It's got all of, like, the symbols and the lights and stuff on it. So, I don't know, maybe this lightning's going to do something to it. Maybe if I just try and fire straight through it, that's going to do something. Because, apart from that, what else could I do? Oh, all that we found was a hole so small that only I could squeeze through it. Oh, where's that? It's so small, I can't even see. Oh, down there! I didn't even see that. Right, how am I going to get down there without <laughs> giving myself a bit of a haircut on the other way? Right, can I jump to this? Oh, that was scary. That was scary. Right, Trico, you step back a bit. I think I need to, to drop down here. Stay there. Okay, looks like the... the excuse me, Trico, 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 just move. Move back. Just, to, just no, don't nudge me off with your big nose. <laughs> Who am I? Who am I to speak about big noses? Right, there we go. He's moved out of the way. Drop down. He's not, he's not dropping down. Come on, drop down. A little bit further. A little bit further. Am I down? There we go. <laughs> Eventually, I was able to, to get to here. So, yeah, it looks like we're not going to be physically stopping the fan by, like, jamming it or anything. It looks like we, I don't know, there's going to be a switch or something inside of here. Hopefully. And whoa! That's why you look before you leap, right? Hopefully there's going to be no guards in here because I have no Trico and all. I know now that this was the master of the valley. Right, this seems to be the thing that's controlling everything. That's what my guess is. I reckon this is the, the magic that makes all of the other magic work at all. What was that? It just booped me. I got close and it just boots me onto the, the ground. Right. Oh, it's really, it's really affected me. Look at that. Okay. Don't go into the the big the big black goop. That's uh, that's what I've learned. Um, where where was the little gap? I wonder if I if I shine my light at it, whether Trico's going to be able to shoot lightning. Oh, well, look at this! What's going crazy? Oh, look at this! It looks like you know when you get like the kind of like the I don't know. I think it's like liquid ion or something, or just like the little iron filings, and you put a magnet, and they all go really crazy. It kind of looks like that, doesn't it? Or like, or if you put um if you put like plastic like cling film over a speaker and then play music and it goes blah 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 and looks really weird. It reminds me of that. I don't know if that's the look they were going for, but that's what it reminded me of. <laughs> right then, well the the goopy goop's gone. I'm still shining my torch at it. Has it stopped the fan? Are the fan still spinning? And oh look, the second I um I stop pointing the, the the mirror at it, the goopy goop comes back. So Let's start. Let, let, let's just shine the light at it for a bit to see if anything else happens. If not, I might need to to quickly run in before the goopy goop comes back. That might be what my guess is. Right, let's go now. And before the goopy goop comes back, oh, the goopy goop's back. Okay, it's back. I wasn't quick enough. <laughs> oh no no, I'm stuck. I'm stuck under the goopy goop. Jump away. Jump away. There we go. Okay, I got out of the goopy goop, but I still don't know what I'm supposed to do. Right, let's get all of these things off the the screen. Hmm. I, I think I do need to, to get rid of it, and then I need to, to run in and do something quickly. 
I just can't tell what it is. Like, it'd be great if Trico was here and he could just blast his lightning right into the middle of this thing. Then I think that would... That would really help out, but I don't think Trico's going to be able to, to fire his lightning through through such a small area. Is there anything underneath it that I can get? Like, it does look like I'd be able to to climb up it, but, like, the, the goop comes back so quickly. I just don't think I'm going to be able to, to do it in time. Can I? Oh, I, 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 I grabbed onto it. I do think that's what I need to do, but I think I need to, to find some way to... To, to um to have the goop away. Well, let's maybe let's stand on one of these. Oh no, let's get back, get back. Let's kind of stand on one of these, and then that way I'm going to be able to to run on it quicker. I do feel like it's a little bit too ambitious to to try and climb up the the entire thing before the the goopy goop, as I keep calling it, <laughs> comes back. I don't know if that's what the uh, the the game design has intended it to be called, the goopy goop, but that's uh that's what I've named it because look, those things kind of spinning around above it as well, like they kind of look like I would be able to to climb up them at the the same time. But what's happening here? Look, it keeps going like that. It goes really weird, and then all these things keep kind of linking on me and look there's all of like these symbols that are kind of coming on my screen i can get rid of them by pressing kind of buttons like i normally do but i wonder if there's anything i'm supposed to to do with that right let's just go and have a run for it right let's go and let's go and try and jump up can i climb no climb 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 no i, I I've, oh, oh okay i'm inside oh look i'm inside the goopy goop did i did i, did I die was that supposed to- I think- I don't know if I failed or if that was supposed to happen. Oh, I just failed. <laughs> like, sometimes there's moments where you think you failed, but then you just wake up somewhere else and he's like, I don't know what happened during that time that passed. You know, he just tries to say something like that, but no, nope, that was just me doing it wrong. Right, it looks like the solution is going to be something to do with this. Well, let's have a look around the rest of the room then, because it does look like there's, um, these little doorways. I know now that this was the master of the valley but I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. Yes. Uh, right, there are these doorways around the outside. Is there anything I can do with these? I think these are the, the doorways that only really um, uh, open up when the, the, the weird soldier people here. But look, there's like this, there's this water down here. I didn't know whether being in the water would stop it affecting me, but it seems like that's not the, the case. Like what I need is I need to have like a way how I can kind of place down the, um, the, the mirror so it's still shining at it. But then I can run in and not worry about it. Because it looks like there's there's really nothing else in this this room for, for me to, to be able to, to play with. So I wonder if I can kind of like... I wonder if I can shine my torch while climbing up. And like, if I like stay inside of it and then keep getting closer. So look, if I shine this and do it all back and then move forward a little bit. But instead of jumping immediately, like kind of shine it again and like edge my way forward that way. But I don't, I don't think I can shine my torch while I'm climbing. Like, every time I've had to, to shine the, um, the, the, the mirror thingy, like, I've had to be standing on flat ground. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to shine it while I'm climbing back. But let's kind of stand to here. Then let's go and shine it again. Shine it, shine it, shine it. There we go. So look, I've got a little bit closer now. So at least if I do try and jump now, I'm not going to have it as far to, to go. So this might be the, the way I can do it, but it's still a long way to, to climb. So let's just go and jump now. Can I can I shine it now? Uh, I know it doesn't let me bring it out. See, while I'm climbing up on top of it, it doesn't allow me to, to bring out the mirror. Oh, I had it then, but then <laughs> the game just failed me. I have no idea what I need to do then. I think it's, it's got to be something along the lines of what I'm doing, but like it, it, it just seems too far to climb before the goopy goop comes back. So what I'm going to do... Uh, once again, I'm going to cut ahead in the, the video. I'm going to have a bit of a, of a play around and try and work it out. And then once I do um, kind of realize how I can climb up to the, the top of this thing, I'm going to come back in and yeah, we can we can see if we can stop that fan somehow. Okay, I think I might have worked it out a little bit. So it seems that if I shine the light on it too much, then like if the black goopy goop goes away completely, then it comes back way quicker and hurts me. So what I think I need to do is I just shine the, the light at it a little bit and get it so it goes small, and then I should be able to, to climb up if I'm really fast. It's still gonna be close though. It's still gonna be close. I think I can make it though. I think I can make it. Right, it's really stretching out and trying to, to get me, but if I can jump onto to one of these things, right, I think I might be out of its range now. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, I, th I think I definitely am now. Right, there we go. That's what I need to do. So if you shine your light at it too much, like all the goopy goop goes away, but then just comes back really fast and like it hurts you. So there we go. That's the, that's the answer. It wasn't too difficult uh, after all. <laughs> I was just thinking, 
thinking that I'm just gonna have to do it really, really fast. And I'm glad that that wasn't the, the option because I'm not particularly fast at this game. But look at this, daylight, we've made it. We're at the top of the tower and this is definitely the, the thing I saw from above. This is the thing that I said looks like some sort of radar or something, some magical radar that's kind of transmitting the, the magic all over the, the place. So. All right, we are on the other side of the, the fan, which is good for us, but we need Trico. And oh, look, there's, there's so, look at that. Oh, is that, is that something I need to put the mirror on? Do you think I need to jump onto it? That looks like the, the plinth that I had to put the mirror on before. Right, before we commit to this, let's try it. There's no point shining a light again. That's not going to be the option. I need, I need to jump onto this thing. And there we go. Whoa, okay. Steady on. If you get motion sick, maybe look away now because <laughs> I am spinning crazy, crazy, crazy fast right now. Right, let's try and find where that where that thing was. Right, this is here. So this is the same as uh, the thing that I put the mirror in before. So I reckon that's what I need to do. And if this maybe stops the, the fan, even if it starts again, hopefully it stops for, for long enough uh, for, for Trico uh, to be able to, to make his way through. So... I don't want to take it out until I can see that Trico is definitely clear and safe because the worst thing would be to start it again while he's jumping up because <laughs> that wouldn't be very well. Oh, there he is. I can see him. Okay, he's up. Let's uh, let's wait for a little bit. His tail seems to be dangling down a bit. Let's wait for his tail to be clear. Right, there we go. I think his tail's clear. So what I want to do now is I want to let go and jump to the middle before it starts spinning too fast. And go. There we go. I was able to, to get back off. We made it past the, the fan. The thing is, though, is I don't know if any of this magic's going to be affecting Trico. Like, I don't want this this magic to, to turn him bad and attack me again because if there's going to be a place where there's going to be very powerful magic, it's got to be here doesn't it? Because this is kind of like the source. This is the master of the valley. So this is obviously where the magic strongest. And oh, steady on. I guess I can't climb up that bit there. I think I think I need I think I need Trico then to, to help me get up to the, the top. But where where is Trico? So I don't think I can climb up there. Where where did he go to? I can kinda I can kinda call him has he gone all the way up to the top up there somewhere? I'm trying to see if I can see his uh his tail dangling down somewhere because if I can't climb up that middle bit, and then there's just the, the fan the entire way around the outside, where am I supposed to, to get to? I feel like I, I need him to be able to to, to jump up to the, the top. So let's go and give him a, a bit of a, of, of a cool again. And let's see if he's going to be able to, to make his uh, his way down. Unless, oh, you don't think that I need to, to go and loop around where he came from again. But no, because if I go back down to the goopy goopy room, then I'm going to be stuck in there because there wasn't any way to, to get back through that tiny gap because it was too high up in the, the ceiling. I think... Um, I think I'm kind of stuck here, to be honest. Unless, unless I can kind of shine my lightning at something. Let's try and shine the um, the the lightning at this, and let's see if uh, if Trico is even in a, a position to to do anything against. Oh, there we go. Is is he gonna fire some? Is he gonna fire lightning at the the top up there? Like whenever the camera pulls out like that, I feel like it's gonna do something dramatic. <laughs> I think I think he hit one of the, the the sides there though. Let's try and like fire it right up at the the top bit there. Okay, at least I've worked out where Trico is. Oh, there he is. I can see him. He's he's over there somewhere, and he is in range to to shoot the the lightning. I wonder if I can shoot it at one of these here. Is that gonna do anything? I can I can just see like the top of his tail there, and he's charging it up, and he fired it. It's kind of blasting it and shaking. Maybe these things. Do you reckon these might be able to 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 fold down or something? They made a bit of a of a clunky noise, but they didn't actually do anything like the only thing i can really think of is shooting it at this this tower here like maybe if he can collapse this tower down and then maybe it could make like a, a bridge that i could climb up i can't even see where i'm shining at the, the moment let's kind of step back a little bit and let's kind of do it again so i want to go up there like that and if i do there we go that's like right on the the middle bit of that tower i don't know if he can if he can reach it from where he is, though, I think he might be too low down. So let's kind of try going up the, the tower a little bit higher again. See if he can fire it at that, because if I can't jump anywhere and I can't get to Trico, like, the only thing I can really do with him is to, to fire the, um, the, the lightning round a little bit. Am I going to get stuck again? I think this is going to be a record for the amount of times I've got stuck <laughs> in one episode. Like, is there... There's not an obvious solution, is there, though? Like... So I can't, there's no gaps around the outside. There's nowhere I can jump around there. I can't climb up the middle. If I call Trico, he doesn't like come to me unless he's just ignoring me again and not uh, arriving to me. The only thing I can think to do is to shoot the lightning and he can't, 
fire it anywhere down low. So it's got to be high up somewhere. Let's try and let's try firing one of those those platforms again, just to just to give it a go. Because they did kind of they did kind of shake and make a bit of a noise. That did give me um. Uh, some hope that there is something I need to do with them, but normally anything that I need to, to shoot lightning at to destroy either looks like kind of these magic things or is wooden. Like I very rarely need to, to shoot the, the lightning at anything magic because it doesn't really destroy it. Like it, it kind of, um, you know, like it's normally, yeah, as I said, like the more fragile, like the things that I normally destroy normally look already half destroyed anyway. <laughs> so what I'm going to do then, so I'm going to end this episode here. I'm going to have a little bit of a, of a look around once again and try and work out how I can escape from here. Because to be honest, this fan is starting to make me feel a little bit sick the way it's just kind of continually spinning. And then in the next episode, uh, we can come back in and we can carry on and we can see if we can uh, escape from this area. And don't worry, I'm going to upload the, the, the next episode as soon as I can as well. So uh, there won't be uh, too long to, to wait for you so there'll be a, a link down in the description if you want to go and watch the the, the next episode immediately uh, but for now i want to thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye